Earlier in the week, we showed you aerial yoga here at Reflect Yoga Therapy Studio. And Laura, the therapy is a very important part of this whole process, right? Correct, absolutely. The idea of the aerial actually ties in very closely with what we try to do therapeutically. Okay, and so you're gonna help me. I am going to try. Okay, yeah. We should. God help you on this one. Okay, <laughs> I'm so, going to give it the college So try, what, what do we have to first establish? All right. The first thing that we do before we do any sort of intervention mm -hmm. is we need to think about exercise as being a modality for treatment. Okay? Yeah. So we have to figure out what we're diagnosing, what we're trying to correct, and then how to empower you to make the right kind of changes. So we did a series of tests that would determine what type of yoga positions would help. What you might want to notice here is that the space between the left shoulder and the face is much more narrow than the space between the right shoulder and the face. And that tells us that there's a restriction and an elevation on the right side of the rib cage. Does that just so. mean that I'm really strong on one side? Sure, we'll go with that. Okay. Okay, yes. Really what that means is that there's a part of you that really is strong, but because it's stronger, there's the opposite side that's hypertoned, which means that it's weak and short. So when you look at yoga as a therapeutic intervention, we want to make the short side long and strong. Okay, so we suspect that you have a restriction at T12, which is at your 12th rib. And the I way that we that assess. Was the 12th Terminator movie. It was, and you did a fabulous job. Thank now you. we have to recover from that. Okay. And you can tell that my right hand is higher than my left. That means your right hip is higher than your left. How common is this in other types of bodies, like for viewers at home? Yeah, for runners, it is absolutely common. There's oh. always a forward shoulder that's elevated, there's always a hip that's elevated, and that really starts to create a little wobble. So what you're saying is I have a fantastic body. I am, it is for amazing. For a runner. Yes. Okay. You well, got it. That's the good news. That's the I good news. I felt a little nervous about you saying some of these things, but we can correct these things. We that's can the correct these news. things, which is why yoga and running like this. Okay. It's a sandwich of success. We started on the ground with a few positions we would recreate later on the swing. All right, so the left shoulder was a little bit elevated last time, so we're gonna think about relaxing right here. There you go, good. And then again, you've got that little bit of rib lift. All right, so very classic pose in yoga. Again, we're thinking about relaxing around the shoulder, but pushing very firmly through the hands. And then we're just gonna get that little bit of lift, and now I want you to stick your butt out. There you go, way up in the air. Yep, you got it. Now relax your shoulder just a little bit and I'm gonna twist your spine. Good. Now, now it was time to get airborne. Then you begin to walk your way down and then begin to press yourself up. And then lean your chest forward as you come up and then start to straighten your legs. There it is, see? Holding you up. Yeah. Good. I've what are you feeling? Some, I have some core issues, I think. Core strength or core stretch? Maybe lack of core <laughs> strength. And you can extend the arms, right arm forward, left arm back. And there's a nice little twist here and the shoulder release. There you go. So you can still use this muscle, but relax this guy. The legs straddle as you lean back. Hooking the toes around. Invert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as easy as that. I'm gonna do that. Oh, cool! <laughs> I can't wait. Three, two, one. Lean back, straddle. Good. Yes. And then just bend your knees, catch your toes, and you can let go. It'll hold you. You're getting some decompression through your back as your body weight hangs down, so the pressure comes off of a lot of the vertebra there. You can hang your arms, which releases a lot of this tension here on the back of the shoulder. I like this. So then to come up, it's tucking the chin first, and you're going to grab onto those pieces that you held onto when you lowered. Good. Excellent. That was so fun. <laughs> I did some things today. What did you observe? How did it go for me? You did great. I think uh, what's great about the swing is it's allowing you to trust yourself by putting trust in something that can fully support you. Uh, 
you had a moment where you're like, oh, I don't know that I will be doing that. Mm -hmm. And you did. <sighs> How do you feel? I feel actually really good considering I only did like three things. But they were the right things okay. at the right time, at the right level of intensity. No, you are indeed a perfect specimen. <gasps> awesome. I'll always end with someone saying I'm a perfect specimen. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>